Aberdeenshire Council is seeking views on its supplementary guidance on special landscape areas which is being developed to support the Aberdeenshire Local Development Plan 2016. This short film explains why we have chosen to designate landscapes in Aberdeenshire, what value there is in protecting landscapes and what this will mean for communities, landowners and developers when seeking planning permission for proposals such as renewable energy developments or house extensions. Local authorities across Scotland choose to designate locally important landscapes as they provide the opportunity to promote understanding and awareness of the distinctive character and special qualities of their local landscapes. They must endeavour to safeguard and enhance local landscapes as outlined in Scottish planning policy. Scottish planning policy sets out national policies that reflect Scottish ministers' priorities for the planning system and for the development and use of land. Nationally important landscapes are designated as national scenic areas, which recognise an area's scenic quality. These are designated by Scottish Natural Heritage. A designated landscape serves two primary functions. It safeguards and enhances Scotland's rich diversity of landscapes, and it promotes the important outdoor setting they provide for creating a sense of place, tourism and recreation. Landscape designations may also overlap with other nature conservation and historic environment designations, the Aberdeen Greenbelt and Coastal Zones. Aberdeenshire Council is reviewing how it considers the value of a landscape. Policy E2 Landscape in the proposed Aberdeenshire Local Development Plan 2016 outlines a commitment to identify boundaries and qualifying criteria for a new local landscape designation known as Special Landscape Areas. They will replace the existing Valued Views policy under the Aberdeenshire Local Development Plan 2012, which was considered unfit for purpose through the Main Issues Report process. In light of this, the Council's previous work on landscape character assessments was expanded upon and new criteria identified. These considered the landscape qualities such as moorland and coastal cliffs and take into consideration aesthetic qualities and merits such as scenic value, recreation and tourism interests, cultural interest and naturalness present within Aberdeenshire's landscapes. As the Special Landscape Area's supplementary guidance is linked to the Aberdeenshire Local Development Plan, only landscapes out with the Cairngorms National Park can be considered. Consultation and engagement with stakeholders and communities has been a key aspect to identifying the 10 candidate special landscape areas. These cover most of Aberdeenshire's coastline, parts of the Dee, Don and Devrim Valleys and iconic upland areas. The supplementary guidance will affect developers, communities and landowners through three supplementary policies. Policy A will apply the special landscape area boundaries in the implementation of Policy E2 of the Local Development Plan. Policies B and C will apply the development guidelines and the conservation and enhancement measures in the form of a Statement of Importance, which has been prepared for each special landscape area. Each Statement of Importance provides a summary of the qualifying features justifying its designation. Qualifying interests are the key aspects and features of a landscape that make it worthy of recognition through a special landscape designation, such as a river valley or iconic castle. Each statement of importance also highlights how development could adversely affect the designated landscape and what should be considered to mitigate any impacts arising as a result. The final part of the supplementary guidance explores the development pressures and landscape type as different types of special landscape areas will have different emphasis in policy. Development will not be permitted where its scale, location or design will have an adverse impact on the qualifying interests and objectives for which the special landscape area has been designated, unless the proposal is of social, environmental or economic benefit of local importance. Aberdeenshire Council would welcome your views on whether we have identified the correct areas to be designated as special landscape areas. We are also seeking views as to whether you agree with the proposed boundaries and statement of importance for each area, and whether you agree with our supplementary policies. The consultation will close on the 13th of May 2016.
a response form has been prepared to assist you and is available online or by contacting the planning policy team. We have also produced a further 10 short films on each of the candidate special landscape areas so you can learn more about the ones which interest you the most. You can view the supplementary guidance at our council offices, local libraries and at the following website. Thank you.